Thank you, Francis. Now, BRICS delegates wrapped up their two-day business meeting in Durban at historical sites, including at Ohlange High School, where former President Nelson Mandela voted in 1994, the Mahatma Gandhi Center in Inanda, as well as the Mandela's capture site in Howick. Impressed with their tour, they say they'll be encouraging more people from their home, from their home countries to pay South Africa a visit. After two days of serious business decisions, it was time for BRICS delegates to relax and do some sightseeing. And Guazulu Natal did not disappoint. With its historic wealth, as well as natural beauty and diversity, first stop, Ohlange, home to the first ANC president, Langalbale Letube. This is also where Nelson Mandela voted for the first time in 1994. The group then proceeded to the Gandhi Center. The original house Gandhi built here still stands and was a hit with delegates. Uh, we are not here as tourists. Uh, we are not here as business people. We are really here as pilgrims because we have been reading about Phoenix settlement, about Durban, about the history of South Africa. We can actually uh, be uh, partners. Uh, Brazil is one of the largest food producers in the world. We have a lot of uh, researchers uh, that are actually working with the cooperatives in Brazil and we understand that this research from Brazil can be shared with the South African people. The tour was an opportunity to sell South Africa abroad. We've got a program where we take Deben to the world. So when we have uh, tourists or people from the business uh, BRICS business summit around, definitely we need to showcase our arts, culture and heritage. Hence we're taking them to the area of Hotlange and uh, Gandhi settlements. Many promised to return as tourists with more of their countrymen. Blondie Khatib, SAPC News, Deben.